This video is brought to you by ABC Supply, the largest wholesale distributor of roofing and other select exterior and interior building products in North America. Well, hello everyone and thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Bloom, group publisher of Roofing Contractor and welcome to our Best of Success podcast show. It is such an honor to have with me today Katie Bodiford, who is the Executive Director of National Women in Roofing, and Anna Anderson, who is no stranger to the Best of Success <laughs> podcast show. But Anna now is the chair, the new chair, just just started, you know, just voted in here recently okay. for National Women in Roofing. So anyway, Katie and Anna, thank you so thank much for you. joining thank me. Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks so much for having us. Well, most importantly, Katie, I want to take a minute and it really introduce you to the industry because mm. You just started, tell us about yourself. You just started with Women in Roofing recently, so right. give us the story. What's right. Um, I have been, it makes me sound really old, but I've been in association management for almost 30 years now. Um, and although I like to say that I've been in different industries, you know, realtors and accountants and pharmacists, most of that time has been in the lumber and building material sector. So oh, awesome. it's really cool. And I've heard more than, more than a few times this week that, well, now you've made it to the top because you're in roofing. So that's that's there pretty cool. It's uh, cool, of course. The top. The yeah. top. <laughs> the top. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's, um, it's kind of come full circle and I feel like this is really my home. I, I enjoy the people. I love the, the construction industry. So I feel like I'm home. Well, it really has seemed like very, even from the outside looking in, you've jumped in so seamlessly <laughs> and quickly with some incredible ideas and it's been fun to see this all kind of coming together. We came on board, I came on board um, eight weeks before our NWIR days, which is our largest um, conference of the year. So you kind of can't help but hit the ground running. Yeah, so for sure. Absolutely. And Anna, congratulations, chair of National Women in Roofing, as well as CEO of Art Unlimited. But tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you're going to be doing with Women in Roofing this year. Yeah, well, we're really excited. We have an amazing executive committee that's behind us and a national uh, board that's also supporting all of the initiatives. Some people might not know that there are anywhere between 25 to 30 national board seats that are filled by amazing women from across the nation. And we also have a, a board member at large, John Kenny, who also gives us a, his unique uh, perspective and helps us make sure that we are advocating strongly for allies and advocates as we look forward and um, embrace our male allies and help make sure that we are enriching the industry at large. But when we look at 2024, we're really excited. Katie has brought so much um, into the association. We had a rich heritage and now we're looking forward towards our 10 year anniversary and saying, okay, what's that next legacy project that we can bring to the table and really continue to transform the roofing industry? Because I would say no one can do it like mothers can do it, right? <laughs> of course. You know, we take an initiative and when it really resonates deeply with us, we just do it and we don't always talk about it, we just make changes. And so that's what we're looking at with our next legacy project is how can we truly impact the industry and raise up uh, future roofers, future leaders, and continue to enrich our members' lives. Yeah, well, tell, can you tell us more about what are those, those initiatives look like? What can people expect and how can they get involved? Yeah, so first off, how can you get involved? We've had the privilege of meeting so many oh my um, men and women who are saying, you know what, I'm not a member of National Women in Roofing. How do I join? It's really simple. Go to yeah. our website, nationalwomeninroofing.org. Join as a member, and there's a portfolio of different benefits that come along with that uh, membership. But um, then as far as looking forward, there's other involvement opportunities councils, they have hands-on training, they have future development uh, leadership. And then also the big thing that I'm focused on is recruiting, not only raising up the women and our allies and developing their leadership capabilities, but how can we acquire new talent and bring more women into the industry, whether it's uh, children or women who are looking for a career change. Yeah. yeah, I think to piggyback on what she said, the recruiting and the membership aspect we're very passionate about because bringing more women into the industry, I mean, yes, our, our mission is to empower women and to give them leadership opportunities, but 
that goes along hand in hand with recruitment and bringing more women in. I mean, who hasn't had a labor shortage over the past few years? And so being right. able to identify that talent pool and, and attract women to this industry is really important to us. I think that's just got to be at the top of our, our goal. I love it. Well, we are so excited to, to support everything that's going on, Get keep getting the word out there. And well, what's the website? If anybody needs to find out more information, what's the website? Very simple. It's nationalwomeninroofing.org. And okay. just come visit us. We've had wonderful people visiting us at the booth. We've gotten a ton of new members, and half of those have been men. So it truly is a, a dynamic change for us, and we're really excited. That's great. Well, before I let you go, though, give us just a quick recap of what happened at, at Women in Roofing Day this year. Oh, my goodness. We had an amazing turnout. We had nearly 500 attendees, over 40 education wow. sessions, That's and the amazing. survey feedback that we've gotten has been truly um, astonishing to me just how life-changing it was. I had one woman come up to me at our booth and say, Katie, I have to tell you, NWIR Days has changed my life. Oh, that's and that's, great. you know, that really does make us feel like we're making a difference yeah. in the industry. Um, but we just had a lot of fun and there was a ton of networking. It's just a great time. Yeah, and one of the other really fun things is we had so many uh, speakers come to us when we opened up the submissions for mm -hmm. presenters. There were many people that no one had ever heard from before. It's truly our members who stepped up to the table. And so we had some speaker development um, curriculum and information that we provided to them to help them understand how can they present successfully. And each one of them truly stepped up to the table. We had a seasoned presenter go, Anna, this was the first time I was really nervous. He said, I hadn't been to a speaker prep call that walked him through and said, okay, here's what you have to do and here's how, who you're gonna have in the room and here's what we expect and we want you to do this and we had room hosts. So we couldn't have been more grateful for our speakers, our room hosts, every one of our volunteers. There's a small army that puts that event yeah. on. <laughs> And we are looking forward now to San Antonio and how do we embrace, we're saying, the wild women of the West. All right. And, I like that. Um, yep. We had a theme this year, hitting out of the park uh, and embracing our allies and advocates. We had a band show up. And so... The marching band. It wasn't yes. a band. It was a marching, marching band. band. It was a marching band. And they literally, they hit it out of the park. Those yes. kids were so excited. They got up on the stage. It wasn't planned. They got up on the stage and they started playing and uh, doing their thing. So it was truly over the top. Yeah, we looked out. The board of directors was on the stage at the time. And this marching band comes up on the stage and we're all dancing and doing our thing. And I look out and there are nearly 500 people with smiles on their faces. Is on their feet, just I'm sure. on their yes, feet yes. dancing. So, you know, what a great way to just kind of kick off our new chapter that we're oh, in right now. I love it. It's so exciting. You guys thank are doing you. so many great things. And so thank you for all. I know it takes so much time and effort for, yeah. especially the volunteer positions. Our volunteers are, are amazing. And it is awesome. But Katie, thank, thank you, you again thank so you much for, for joining us. me. And it's so great to, we're, this is just the beginning. Oh, I know. There's Sister, a lot we're that we're going to be talking to <laughs> with you. And of course, with Anna, as we move forward and getting everybody prepared for 2020. Well, it's hard to even say 2025, but I that's know, the next oh one in roofing day. You know, we got it and almost beyond. a year, right? Yes, yeah, and exactly. beyond. But yes, thank, thank you guys thank so you much for, for joining us. me, for I sure. Appreciate it. And if anybody has any questions for us, it's roofingcontractor.com. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for all our free content. Especially, it's free to sign up for our e-news, our website. Follow us on all our social media channels so you can stay up to date. on all the great interviews we do, like we are today with Katie and Anna. But most importantly, stay safe and healthy. We can't wait to talk to you soon. Thanks again, ladies. Thank, thank you. you.